Hey what's up everyone, my name is Thijs and welcome to Dual Wielded. In this video I'll show you everything I added and changed to the mobile game I'm working on called Spectral Dungeons since the last video. And let me tell you, holy heck there's a lot. The game is a roguelike bullet hell dungeon crawler in which you play as a ghost that can take control of corpses scattered throughout the dungeon. If you haven't seen Devlog Zero in which I fully introduced the game, you can click on the card that pops up right now. There's a big list of changes that I have to go through, so prepare yourselves. The very first thing I added were chests. You'll need to grab keys in order to open them. Once you do this, the chest contains either coins, an item or there's even a small chance of getting both. Right now there are only two items, a potion and a large potion. You can keep track of the amount of coins and keys you have underneath your health indicator and the item you're currently holding will be displayed in the item button which you can press to use that item. Meanwhile my teammate for this project created a door system for a boss room. You'll need to find a boss key to be able to open it. As you can see I also changed the ghost character and changed the enemy sprites. After that I created a dodge move or well I honestly don't know what this is. It took me a day to fix this but you finally can't dodge inside of a wall. After this I messed around with path finding enemies. I used the A star pathfinding asset to do this. It's also the first time I worked with something I actually call AI. These enemies that just stand around doing nothing except shoot at you are probably considered AI as well. A poor and extremely small and dumb version of it. But this is what I actually call AI. The enemies should see that this is a wall so they'll have to find a way around in order to get to me. I have no idea why, but in the end it stopped working. They're even humping the wall on purpose, just to annoy me or something. Maybe it has to do with our crazy AI outsmarting the system. What if they What if they become alive? What if they want to eliminate me? I'm scared to even start my own computer anymore. No, no seriously, I need to close it now. It's hacking into my mainframe. <laughs> I was about to ask you guys for help regarding the pathfinding, but I actually got an idea that could work while recording this gameplay. Maybe the enemy only stops moving because it has too much friction with the wall? I knew what I had to do. So I created a folder for materials and added a material. Yo, what the... What the heck is... Uh, oh, I actually added a 2D physics material and I reduced the friction to zero. I dragged it into the enemy's rigid body and boom. Bam, baby. It's still not fully working the way I wanted it to work, but that's probably a quick fix that I'll do between this and the next devlog. This is when my teammate worked on actual replayability. He made a random dungeon generator. I had no part in this whatsoever, but I somewhat know how it works. He basically wrote a standard generation script and when it finished he made every single connection that was possible, possible. This was a pretty easy way but for it to actually work we obviously had to make a lot of rooms for every possible combination of doors a room would have in different directions. But with that done, the dungeon generator still isn't finished. It still needs to spawn a random amount of random enemies, have a random chance at spawning a chest, have a random chance of spawning a key, have a random chance of spawning a corpse. The first room can't contain enemies. but must must contain a corpse, the last room has to be a boss room so the doors to it need to be boss doors that can only be opened with a boss key that needs to be spawned in a random room. While he was busy doing that I added invincibility frames to the player. They're definitely going to need that because the next thing I worked on. Jotaro! Dio! Ho! Mukatte kuru no ka? Nigezu ni kono Dio ni chikazuite kuru no ka? Well, what's a boss room without a boss fight? This was honestly the most fun thing to work on so far. It was really fun designing this boss. For now I gave him 3 attacks, but his attack system works in a way for me to easily give him more if I wanted to. All of his attacks have cool names, there's the triple wave. He shoots 3 quick waves of fireballs with every wave containing 10 more fireballs than the other. There's also whirlpool, in which he turns into an actual washing machine, which starts a clothing wash mini game. Now you'll actually see what it does in a bit. And then there's pig laser. <laughs> This is the only phase in which the player can actually attack the boss fight, since the other attacks are too dangerous. The player wouldn't be able to get close enough. I made it so that the boss can't use the same attack back to back and I also added a health bar. We meet again. Come on. Smack. Oh, did I stay back? Oh. This is my time. Go! 
That's it. That's pretty much everything we've added since. The next thing we'll probably be focusing on are sound effects, music, and an even bigger replay value. We'll do this by making a room the player can enter after defeating the boss. This will be a safe zone where the player can spend their coins. When you leave this room, you'll enter level 2, or the second floor of the dungeon. This level will have a couple of more rooms and have more enemies per room. I might even make a different boss fight for this level, which you obviously need to defeat. This allows you to get to the safe zone once again, and from there you'll enter the final level. This will have even more rooms, more enemies, and a final boss. When you defeat the final boss, well, I don't know, maybe you will get temporary upgrades, or you'll have an extra 10% chance to get an item and coins out of a chest. Something like that. Make sure to join the Discord if you're interested. I'll post an APK file for the game when it's finished in there. So if you want to try it out, you know, uh, just, just, just join, okay? Thanks a lot for watching. Next video will already be the final devlog for the Kinect game. So make sure to stay tuned for that and subscribe if you're interested. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Oh, oh. <laughs>